Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boyston Grove, and today we're going to show you how to make four projects that you can batch out for your next market or for gifts. Let's get into it. It's going to be great. <laughs> Our first project is pretty simple. I used a piece of laminated board that I had, but you can use any one by material for this. After tracing out as many circles as I could fit on the board, I cut them out on the bandsaw, cutting just shy of the lines. Then I moved over to the belt sander and sanded right up to the lines. I used a gel stain that I had to stain the circles, but you can use whatever you like or leave them natural wood. Then I applied three coats of chalkboard paint on one side of each circle. Once it was dry, I hot glued some ribbon around the perimeter and used some tacks to attach a piece of ribbon for it to hang from. And off camera, I also added a smaller piece of ribbon with a piece of chalk. Then I used a paint pen to add a little sang, and our first project is done. Project number two is one that I did on my fall project video, but I figured it would be really cool to make some Christmas versions. I used a template that is available on our website and I used some spray adhesive to attach them to some 2x material. I started by cutting the wood to more manageable sizes and then I cut out the shapes on the bandsaw. Once the pieces were cut out, I used a 1.5 inch Forstner bit to drill out the recesses for the candles. Then it was time for a bunch of sanding. For finish, I started with boiled linseed oil, but I didn't really like the look of it, so once they were dry, I painted the candle holders to be a bit more festive, except for the star. I like the star as is. Okay, last year on my five projects at sell video, I got a number of comments saying that I shouldn't be making Christmas about money. But for a lot of people, including myself, making and selling products is how we put bread on the table. So this year, instead of going to a big box store and buying mass produced Christmas decor, consider looking up some local makers and artists, buying their products and help bless their families during this holiday season. For project number three, I used another template and two thicknesses of wood. One was half inch thick and one was one quarter inch thick. For each ice skate, you'll need three pieces, but only one of them will actually need to have the blade on it. I cut out the pieces with both the bandsaw and the scroll saw. For the glue up, I used Type Bond 2 and some Bessie ratcheting C clamps. These clamps are pretty handy, I'll leave a link to them in the description. Once the little skate was dry, I used a 3 8 inch bit to drill out the holes for the laces. Mm -hmm. 
Then it was off to sanding and shaping. I decided to use a white stain on the main body so the wood grain would still be visible. Once it was dry, I laced it up with some twine. And then painted the blade with some brown paint. And then added a small eyelet and some more twine for it to hang from. Okay, that did not just happen. For the last project, I traced my template onto a thicker piece of material that I could use multiple times, and then I used that to trace my design onto some half-inch plywood. Then I cut it out on the scroll saw. Because of all the nooks and crannies on the reindeer, I hand sanded it and used some files for the smaller areas. I cut some 3 quarter inch material about 8 inches long to use for the base, and then I used my router to put a design around the top edge. To attach the reindeer to the base, I used a quarter inch forstner bit to drill holes in two of the legs and glued in some dowels. Then I marked and drilled out the holes on the base. I used some more of that gray gel stain on the reindeer and some red paint on the base. Once everything was dry, I used some Type Bond Quick and Thick for the assembly. I wanted to keep this piece pretty minimal, so I just added some small bells and thin ribbon, but you can deck yours out as much as you want. All right, our four Christmas projects are finished. Let's go over a few things real quick. The little round circle signs was a really quick and easy project and it's something that you can personalize. As you can see, I have two different sayings on there. You can make it say whatever you want and it's something fun for the whole family. I have to say out of all the projects, the ice skate was actually the most time consuming because of the time that I spent trying to shape it on the belt sander. If I did more of these, I would probably use something a little thinner than half inch on each side because when I did that, it felt really bulky. So I ended up spending a lot of time sanding them down to just make it a little bit thinner. Out of all of these, I would have to say the reindeer is my favorite. I just like the simplistic look of it. Let me know in the comments below which of these projects is your favorite. We have templates for the reindeer, the ice skate, and the tea light holders on our website. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. Be safe and have a great day. Dashing through the snow.